Hey, Facebook. Uh, thank you for joining me Tuesdays with Gail. I am here. I'm trying to do like a selfie, but I think I can prop this up a little bit. I am here at Summer Creek uh, High School in the Summerwood area. So some of the neighborhoods that come out here or have students that come out here are um, Summerwood, Eagle, what are some neighborhoods that are coming? Yes, Fall Creek, Fall Creek Summerwood, Summerwood, Eagle Springs. Eagle Springs. So uh, we're at the high school, and I think this is the only high school? Yeah, um, or is there two high schools? Yes, this, the this is the only high school for this area currently. Um, so I am at Summer Creek High School highlighting the school and one particular program that this school offers, which is the Aquatic Science Program. And so they've just finished up a in-depth project in which they had to build robots um, to problem solve different issues having to do with um, underwater science. So <laughs> I was one of the judges, Ms. Ortegon, she's the team leader and heads the aquatic science program. They've done a wonderful job. I'm just going to show you real quick. It's interesting to know and it's real important to know the schools in your neighborhood, what programs they offer, what they do for their students, especially if you have children and even if you don't, that does drive the property value of your neighborhood. Um, the schools, the programs, how good they are at providing um, education for your kids and other services that they do provide. So. I wanted to highlight, I'm going to sh switch and show you some of the things they've done. And so Ms. Ortegon's over here. This may kind of look like different pieces of PVC pipe all bunched together, but there's actually a method to the madness. That one has a camera. So these are all what grade students? 11th? 11th and 12th, yes. And um, they are juniors and um, seniors who are going to be graduating here soon for the seniors. And Humble ISD is pushing out a portrait of graduate, which focuses on leadership, problem solvers, critical thinking, um, and allowing them to get these skills done now so like that when they graduate, they're better off. Um, successful in the real world. Mm -hmm. So do you think you're success you'd be successful in <laughs> problem solving? And what school are you going to again? Missouri Southern University in Joplin, Missouri. There you go. In a few months. You ready? Yes, ma'am. It's going to be a whole new world. Yes, if you could be ready for it. Yeah, that's right. So these are some of the projects they've done. I was one of the judges. Um, they were judging today. So this is like scuba um, contraption. So when scuba divers, they start hallucinating, they can hopefully use this to help them stop hallucinating because the further deep you go into the ocean, the more things can start going wrong for humans. So you can see they've done a lot of cool stuff here and these are all kids, 11th, 12th graders, and they problem solve. And I spoke to some of them today when I was judging, when they actually tested these, uh, their robots out, there are some things that did go wrong that they had to problem solve for and fix. So this is again the sci uh, aquatic science program here at Summerwood uh, High School. Ah, let me try to get here. I don't know if you can see me. Maybe it's better this way. If you have any questions about this program ah, or any programs, I'm trying to get this right. Oh, yeah. Um, for Summer Creek, just let me know. Ms. Ortegon, I can connect you to her. This is the Aquatic Science Program. It's important to know the programs that are available in the schools that you live in. And also, let me put up here. Uh, especially if you have kids. It's always important to know. If you're looking to move, let me know. I can help you, connect you to the schools that those neighborhoods serve and then also give you information and know, show you where to get information 
for those schools that you're looking to move near. So with that said, y'all have a great Tuesday. Bye.